gotta love the small pigskin. College football is back. Welcome to Citrus TV's web exclusive on Q's Countdown. I'm Jeff Everly alongside David Bear and Josh Whitmore. Guys, it's been about eight months since Syracuse played its last football game. What do you think they're going through, expecting, approaching this Saturday's game against Akron? One thing I think that Syracuse is expecting, Scott Schaefer's defense is going to come out and actually improve on a number 13 run defense in the country from 09. Well, David, I talked to the players this week, and what they're excited to do is go out and hit someone that they haven't been hitting for the last few months. They want to hit someone not wearing a Syracuse football jersey, and they're really excited for this game. Jeff, I bet you're excited too, though. You've been out of the country for a while getting some real football. Hey guys, now. I have. I've been in London this past spring covering European football, the Liverpools, Arsenals, Manchester United's. But it's so great talking about the best sport in the world, that's college football. But guys, don't go anywhere. We'll get you right back in a little bit. Right now, it's time for the kickoff. Syracuse opens its season against Akron in brand new InfoCision Stadium. The big theme for Orange coaches and players all offseason? Make and win a bowl game. It's something that even has head coach Doug Marone up at night. Yeah, I think our players are excited for that. I think that they're ready for it. Obviously, it's, uh, it's, it's a, a great opportunity. So um, I know I didn't sleep much last night. Uh, it was really the first time. So I, I know I'm excited, but I don't want my players to be like that. I want my players to make sure they are sleeping. So. Syracuse will try to get those precious seven wins with first-year starter Ryan Nassim. Last season as Greg Paulus' backup, Nassim saw his fair share of playing time in this stallion formation. This season, however, it's solely Nassib's offense. I mean, I've been here for a whole other year, and you know, I kind of feel like I'm a veteran now, um, even though I am still kind of young. But I've uh, been through a lot, I've seen a lot, and you know, I took it upon myself to help bring the younger kids along. And cause we are pretty young at some spots, and you know, uh, with the huddle, I took it upon myself to know that it's you know my huddle. It's, I'm the only one that's talking it. Senior running back DeLon Carter has been through a lot on his time on the Hill. Season-ending hip surgery in 2006 and off-season turmoil. Now the Akron native is ready for a big game. It's definitely going to be special to me, you know, just to have all my family there and friends and just to get them to, just to have them see me play one more time my senior year. It's a blessing. Syracuse and Akron are very similar programs. Both coming off losing seasons, both recruit the same players, Zip's coaches have even coached for the Orange. So who will start off its season on the right note? To answer that question, we bring back David Bear, Josh Wetmore to run the two-minute drill. Guys, you know how this works. In two minutes, I'll try to give you as many questions as possible about the Syracuse Akron game. Sounds good? Sounds good yeah. to me. All right, first off, DeLon Carter. Will he have that monster game going back to his hometown? Yes, it'll be a homecoming for DeLon Carter. He will improve on that 170-yard game with three touchdowns he had against Akron last year. 170 yards, three touchdowns is asking a lot. I don't think he'll get it. He'll look impressive, but Antoine Bailey is going to take away some of those carries from Carter. They'll both look good, but neither will have those incredible stats that Carter had last year. As Carter, one of the veterans on this team, Ryan Nassib, he's kind of a youngster. His first career start. What do you expect of him against the Zips? I, I expect efficiency, but nothing prolific. Syracuse is going to use the running game a lot and just need Nassib to not make any big mistakes. Agreed. If Nassib can limit his turnovers, Syracuse will win. I expect an okay game out of Ryan Nassib. Guys, where can SU specifically attack Akron? The running game. It's about DeLon Carter and Antoine Bailey in the rushing game. If they can attack that Akron defense that only returns six starters, Syracuse will win. You said they returned six starters, and they did play Syracuse last year, but I still think Syracuse can take advantage of their defense with different looks. Doug Marone runs part pro and part spread style, spread style offense. That can confuse the defense no matter how many times you play a team. Guys, Akron has a lot of star power coming back on offense and defense. Jeremy LaFrance, Patrick Nicely, Brian Wagner on defense. So which Akron player poses the greatest threat to Syracuse? Well, you said it already. Patrick Nicely is going to be the biggest threat here. He had an efficient game against Syracuse last year, 193 yards, a touchdown, no interceptions. He was the third string, the third string quarterback last year. He's the starter now. Expect some better stats out of him. If he doesn't throw any interceptions, he might give uh, Akron a chance to win. I'll take that other guy that Jeff mentioned. That would be Jeremy LaFrance, the 6'1 senior wide receiver. Five receptions against the Orange last year. Look for another big game. Guys, how can Akron pull the upset and beat Syracuse? Well, you know what? I think it's all about that momentum. InfoCision Stadium, they're opening it. 
if Akron can ride that momentum, maybe jump out to an early lead, look for Akron to pull the upset. I think it's all about the element of surprise. You can't watch film on this team because they have brand new coaches. Guys, real quick, prediction time. 23-17 Syracuse. Uh, I'm going to go 28-13 to 13 Syracuse, a dominating run game and dominating defense. Guys, thank you very much for your expertise. For all your Citrus TV sports needs, go on to www.citrustv.net. For Josh Wetmore, David Bear, I'm Jeff Everly. Thanks so much for watching.